Hey YouTube, today I want to enlist a little bit of help from the experts on here. I found this fungus here laying at the base of an oak tree and I'm going to show you in a minute. This is excellent tender fungus, very, very good tender fungus. Uh, I have no idea what kind of fungus this is, the name of it. Um, see a close up there. It's not a bracket fungus. It's not a not chaga or anything like that I don't believe so maybe somebody could help me out but uh, I want to just do a little demonstration here for how excellent this fungus is as a tender fungus um, so we're gonna go over here We've got, a, got a bird's nest made up from just some some stripped uh, pompous grass heads this is excellent spark tender and it, it works excellent with a coal, hand drill, bow drill, anything like that, or with uh, tender fungus as we're going to apply it today. And uh, I almost feel like I'm cheating when I use this stuff because it works so well. If you have this in your yard, take advantage of it, or in your, your woods, your forest, whatever the case may be. So we've got a craft line, all around stainless. This is Sandvik, I believe 12C27. Someone might make a liar of me on that, but that's what I what I think it is. Just a blank ferro rod, five sixteenths by three point one five inches. Hollowed out a little spot on this tree here. This down tree to if a spark hits this at all. Just like the more popular and well-known tender fungi, it will catch. I'm sure you could use this with a traditional flint and steel. It really doesn't take much. It does tend to break in pieces. Here we go. See that? And all it takes is just a little bit. Usually it breaks up and I just pick the biggest piece, stick it in my tender bundle, Now if you give just a just a few seconds between puffs when you attempt to ignite your bird's nest, it almost seems to me that it gives that coal a chance to rest. There's really no need to be in a hurry. Excellent, excellent spark tender, excellent tender for use with a coal. This is probably, probably fairly wet as tender goes, and uh, I didn't prepare this, I went, I pulled these stalks off of the plant. Stripped them, made my bird's nest. And I almost like it a little bit better that way because I get more longevity. And I have to actually feed it with oxygen in order for it to burn. And snuff that out once I've got my intermediate tender, maybe some some cedar bark, uh, I like pine cones, um, even just, uh, just small sticks, anything like that. I can snuff that out and I can reuse that later on for, uh, for the work that's involved in processing it. It's, it's real good stuff. Um, 
but you could see that this particular fungus is just as good as, I guess, the popular ones, I would say, or the well-known ones. But I'm really not sure what it is, so if you could help me out, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.